up YouTube slow my way coming at you with another video um I was packed up ready to go to go to the range today but I looked on the range Facebook page and saw that they had a bunch of matches going on today and a bunch of the bays was going to be closed so I ended up not being able to go to the range because of that so anyway I had my range load out all packed up and loaded in the car so instead of just unpacking it I figured I'd give you a video of my range load out here we go. Right here we have a NC Star Bism pistol bag. Show you how I have mine packed out. For the most part, I usually keep my mats and my hair protection. Pretty much everything that's in this bag stays in here except for the firearms. I do put my firearms, I do keep them in a the safe. But everything else pretty much stays in it. Over here on the side, it's a little hanging pouch. I keep a range finder in it. It's a bush nail, bone collector range finder. This on the side, and a hanging pouch. In the pocket right next to it, I keep my hair protection. I have two sets of hair, hair protection for my wife and myself. She goes a lot with me. Put that zip back up. Next up, other side. keep my eye protection on the other side of the bag right here on the front it has a main compartment and a zipper up front and that front pocket staples staple gun what else? and a couple of permanent markers what I keep in that pocket. Main compartment here. Magazines. I have five Glock mags and four Beretta 92 mags loaded into that pocket. They have these little straps across that you can, um, that holds the magazines in place. Turn the bag around. The back compartment is pretty much the same like the front. They have, well you can see it better here, but they have these little scraps that holds all of your magazines in place. And in this part, in this compartment, I have four AR mags. And I also have six MP shield nine millimeter mags magazine loaders and two mags for my savage 22 long rifle Now in the middle compartment, this is where I hold my handguns, but I have a tape measure, one package of 22 long rifle ammo, nine millimeter ammo, a couple of 40 round AR mags. They are too long to fit in the other compartment, so I just have them in this one. My range membership card. That is the range that I'm a member of. Um, DeSotoGunRange.com. If you're in the Mississippi area, it's a great range. The handguns that I have in it is my Polymer 80 Glock 19 bill. 
I just installed a Kinetitech trigger into that. And now I have about 600 rounds through this gun. It is empty. That's my Polymer 80 Glock 19 build. Glock 17. I also installed a Kinetitech trigger into it. Oh, and I put the um, mag pull mag well on it. Beretta 92A1. On this one, I have a spring kit inside of it. I have the Wilson Comeback Low Profile um, Safety. And I changed the grips. I can't remember exactly what grips those were that I put on them, that I put on it, but I did replace the grips. And I have my little North American Arms 22 Magnum. R22 LR. And that's the load out of my handgun bag. Next up, I'm going to show you the rifles that I planned on taking today. Sit this out of the way. First up. <coughs> Savage. Savage FVSR bolt action rifle. Pretty much whenever I, every time I go to the range, I take this one. Um, 22 long rifle. It has a fluted bull barrel. It's threaded for a suppressor. It has a bipod and a Nikon 3 to 9 um, Nikon Pro Step rim fire scope. This is a tack driver. Pretty much every range trip. It goes. That's the Savage. FBS, FBS on. I don't have a video up on it. Maybe I need to do that one. My other rifle bag. This is a Wilson double rifle bag, but I'm usually able to get at least three long guns in here. Now I'll show you how this now. In this front compartment, I pretty much always have an AR pistol when I go to the range. So in this front compartment, This one has been going to the range a lot lately also. So now I probably have about 400 rounds through this one. And I built it in December. I have a few videos up for this one. Zero problems with that so far. That's the AR. 10.5 inch pistol build. Main compartment. I have two other ARs. I have a few videos up with this one also. One of 
my AR rifle builds. You can go on my channel and check that one out if you would like. Have a few videos up of it. And this one, this was actually my first AR. And I don't think I have any videos up of it. So right after this one, I'm probably going to make a separate video for this AR. It is a, a original Smith & Wesson Sport. I think I bought this in 2011 or 2012. I think when I bought this, it was a new gun to the market at the time. And it was my first AR. I will do a separate video of it. As you can see, I did change out all of the furniture pretty much. And that's what let me know I need to be, that I would be better off building them instead of replacing everything on it. And it's pretty much what I had packed up, planned to go to the range today. Slow boy, signing out.